mighty Father on the cattle of a thousand hills. Amen. <laughs> what the Word says. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Amen. So good. If you got your Bibles, you will. Turn with me over to Genesis chapter 18 and verse chapter 19. Going to be in both of those books uh, this morning. Going to bring the uh, read a couple of verses out of chapter 18 to start with, and then we're going to get into 19 also. I just give you what God's given me today. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Amen. So good. I want to preach this morning on the heroes of faith. I ain't only want to preach this morning on the heroes of night, and I know it's going to get emotional for me today. I know it is. Lord woke me up yesterday morning. Added some things to this, to this, and Lord, have mercy. Don't ask you a question before I even get started. I want you to think right now in your life, whether it be your mama, your daddy, granddaddy, uncles, your aunts, whoever it might be, who was your hero? Because every one of us had one. Somewhere, somebody prayed for you. Somewhere, somebody prayed for you, and, and you're the, they're the reason you're where you are. Say what you want to, and I know Jesus is the main reason, but my friend, without somebody praying for you, without somebody interceding for you, we wouldn't be where we are today. I know one thing. My mama was my hero of faith. Say this. Never won gold medals. Never won no rewards down here. She sure won me to G. It's gonna be tough today. I knew when I was studying this, it was gonna be tough today. If I were to dedicate this message today, it'd be to my mama today. And you say, well, preach it ain't Mother's Day. I can't help it. I preach what God gives me and when he gives it to me. All right? I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be tough. Tough. And that's what it is. It's what it is. I got up yesterday morning. I, was, I woke up crying. Anybody ever done that? And that wasn't no, jo no sad cry. It's a joyful cry. I woke up to know I'm glad that I'm where I'm at because of a hero of faith. And even though their name was never written in this book, but they abide, abide by the heroes that was written in the book. Y'all see what I'm telling you this morning? Listen, I'm not telling y'all that none of our heroes down here was perfect. They wouldn't, and I'm going to tell you this. They wouldn't know heroes in here perfect but one, and that was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is a hero of faith. I'm going to try to get into this message uh, this morning uh, to preach to you what God's given to me. We call it, we're going to be talking about Lot. We're going to be talking about Abraham. Going to be talking here that just to give you a little background on what's going on uh, in, in this message this morning. This is where Lot, if you remember, God told Abraham to go out and go to a country, go to a land that he would give him and show him where it would be. And the Bible said as he took off to go, the Bible said his nephew, a Lot, began to journey with him and went into the journey. The Bible said over the period of time of a journey, the Bible said that their uh, substance got real big. Amen? And it come to a place they had to divide because they couldn't run together because God had blessed them so much. Amen? And it come to a division there, they, or not a division, but come to a dividing part to where that the Lord, uh, that Abraham told uh, Lot, you look up this way and whichever way you pick, you go and whatever way you don't pick, I'll go. Amen. And the Bible said that Lot lifted up his eyes and looked towards and to saw over towards Sodom and Gomorrah and, and that's where he wound up at. Amen. Was over in Sodom and Gomorrah and that, that's what we're going to pick up and, and now uh, the Bible talks about it in verse number 20 of chapter 18. Alright. Chapter number 18 in verse number 20 the Bible said in the, in the Lord said, because the cry of, of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because of their sins, because of their sin is very grievous. In verse number 21, it says, and I will go down now, and I will see whether they will see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come before me. And if not, I will know. Bible said in verse number 22, And the men turned their faces from thence and went 
towards Sodom. But look, he says, but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. My friend, everybody ain't going to stay with you. Everybody ain't going to, everybody ain't going to incede for you. Everybody ain't going to pray for you. Everybody ain't going to stick through the battle with you. Psalms going to turn and going to walk off. And you know what? This wasn't Abraham's son. This was his nephew. But he loved him. Father, we love you. We thank you for this day, God, you give us. God, help us now to preach this word, God, you've laid on our heart this morning. Father, that, Lord, that we appreciate with every fiber of our body, God, that you've called us to do. God, that we'll be a two and a vessel. I pray, God, if there's one this morning, God, that's unlost and undone, God, that you just reach down and touch them this morning. Father, that somewhere, some way, a hero of faith, God, upon this land today, God, where they be here now and done been gone, God, that the prayers, God, would be heard. And, Father, I thank you, God, that you'd reach down and you touch God and honor those prayers today and save that which was lost God and we thank you for that and, and God we ask you now to help me Lord to preach this God that you hide me behind the cross uh, Father we love you we thank you we honor you we give you glory uh, uh, God you have been so good to me Father uh, Lord you bless me beyond measure Lord and not only me only but you have everyone in this place today uh, God we thank you ask you now to bless it in Jesus holy name we pray and everyone may be seated if you want to. Praise the Lord. God is good to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's good. I'm telling you, uh, it's pretty tough, all right? And so as we look down and we see this, I just want you to see about this. Uh, as, as we look down to where Abraham looked, and, and the Lord, he's standing there with Abraham, and he's talking to him. And, uh, and, and in other words, now he's telling Abraham, he said, I'm fishing to go. I'm going over there to Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to see what's going on over there. I'm going to find out if, they're, if, they, if it's what the cry is. I'm going to destroy the place. That's pretty much what he said. Amen. But he goes in that last part of that verse and after all others turned their face from him and, and, said, and, and went towards Sodom, it said, but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. Why? Because my friend he was still interceding for the people. Amen. He was still standing in for the people. Praise the Lord. And not only that, but he knew Lot was over in Sodom and Gomorrah. That's exactly uh, what he knew. His nephew was in Sodom and Gomorrah uh, living over there doing uh, in, a, in a sinful place that should not, uh, that no, they wouldn't going to stand because God was going to destroy it. Amen. Uh, but my friend, he loved his nephew. He, he even had a love for the people. Amen. Uh, along the way. And the Bible said, if you look on through in, in verses 23 on down to uh, 33, he went to the Lord and he said, Lord, if I find 50 over there uh, righteous, Lord, would you not destroy it? And the Lord said, if you find 50, I won't do it. Amen. I, he come back and said, Lord, if I find 45, will you not do it? I, he said, no, I won't do it. Went all the way down to where he come back and he said, Lord, I, if I find five, would you not destroy it? I, and the Lord come back and said, if you find five, I won't destroy it. Amen. I, uh, but meanwhile, went on, he could not find five over there. Uh, and the Lord was going to destroy uh, what was going on there. Amen. I'm, I'm just telling you, my friend, we got to have these heroes of faith out here. The heroes of believers. I'm telling you, uh, Abraham was a hero of faith. Uh, he was a hero of believing. Amen. Uh, to call on the Lord. Knowing now Lot was over there uh, uh, just living up what was going on. And now the Lord's anger and, and the Lord's wrath done come up on that place. And, and, and here Lot is over there in the midst of that and, and Abraham sitting there praying and calling on the Lord uh, and, and trying to and, and standing in and seeding for them uh, uh, what's going on I'm going to pick up in verse number 24 of chapter 19 if you want to look there and the Bible said in verse 24 and the Lord it's in the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah and upon Gomorrah brimstone and, and fire from the Lord out of heaven Amen. and the Bible said and he over throne of uh, these cities and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the cities. It said in uh, that which grew up on the ground. In verse number uh, 26. Now I, I know we're going to get into this a little bit but if you go back and read all of this God give every one of them an opportunity to come out. Amen. Uh, he went over there and he got them by the hand. He sent angels over there uh, men over there to get them by the hand and lead them out. Amen. Uh, uh, and he told them he said when we go out 
out of here. He said, I don't want none of you to look back. Amen. He was talking to every one of them. And as they go up, go over there, and he began to lead them out uh, and, and going on their way. But look in verse number 26, the Bible said, but his wife looked back from behind him. And she became a pillar of salt. Amen. I, uh, because why? Because she disobeyed the Lord. I, if you'll go and study in this word of God, I, uh, my friend, you'll find out uh, in this that she couldn't uh, uh, She couldn't uh, 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 forget about the sin that was behind her. Amen. I, uh, there's a lot of folk today, uh, uh, my friend, can't live tomorrow on kind of looking back behind them. Amen. I, uh, but I come to tell you, we need to forget about those things behind us I, and reaching forth in front of us. I, I come to tell you they ain't nothing in Egypt back over there for me. They not nothing in Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible I preached out just the other day where it said why would a man a prophet to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Amen. That's exactly what she was doing. She was looking back because she hurt the sin had a hold on her. I come to tell you a sin's got a hold on America. Amen. A sin's got a hold on folk and I'm telling you they can't get away from it. I, uh, but I ain't but one way and one thing that can break that. I, that's the power of God. Amen. I, and the only thing going to help that, we got to have some uh, uh, We got to have some heroes of faith. Uh, uh, we got to have somebody uh, uh, that I pray. Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, my friend that don't mind losing a little sleep. Uh, it don't mind doing whatever it needs to take, Brother Wayne, uh, uh, to pray. Uh, I've said this many times. I remember coming in 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning uh, and my mom would be sitting in the couch and I'm, I'm being honest with you. I was young and I didn't understand. But now I'm old. I got children, grandchildren. I understand what the thing was and what it was all about. I'd come in one or two o'clock in the morning. She'd be sitting up in there. I'd get angry. I said, Mom, why you got to wait up on me? I'm grown. And she'd say, well, honey, I just want to make sure you got home. I come to tell you sometime we need some mamas and daddies that'll just stand up and pray. If it take all night long. I'm telling you, we live in a generation of day of mamas and daddies that go to bed at dark, don't even know where their children's at, don't know what's going on with them, don't know if they're in the house or they're on the street. We need to get back to the old path. We need to get back to the right path. If mamas and daddies and grandmamas and grandmama and granddaddies and the uncles and aunts stand up and pray, oh Lord, I got, a, I got a nephew over there. Oh Lord, I'm just crying out to you. Uh, Lord, will you please look after my child? Uh, Lord, will you please? Look after my grand uh, Lord, would you please look after my nephew? Uh, anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm telling you, church, uh, the generations are dying out. Uh, uh, they would set up and pray uh, and intercede and break through for you. Uh, everybody ain't going to stay with you all night. Uh, everybody ain't going to pray all night. Uh, everybody ain't going to break through for you. Are you hearing what I'm telling you today? Uh, everybody. Goes and uh, uh, stand in and pray uh, when the situation's tough. Uh, but thank God for the heroes of faith. Uh, it ain't mentioned in the book. Uh, hey, I had some in my life, uh, and you had some in your life. Uh, hey, it's got you where you are. Uh, you're sitting on a pew uh, uh, because somebody uh, uh, prayed for you. Uh, uh, somebody stood up. Uh, uh, somebody stood in. Uh, uh, somebody didn't mind uh, uh, calling on God. Didn't matter who was around. Uh, uh, some I got a hope to God and stood in for you and got you out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Are you hearing what I'm telling you this morning? Somebody stood in for you and me and got us where we are. You say, well, Jesus done it, but somebody had to call on our, on our name before his name. Amen. And the Bible said she turned into a pillar of salt. But don't you go on down here and look. The Bible said in verse number 27 in Abraham. It said Abraham uh, got up early in the morning. Uh, it said of the place where he stood before the Lord. Listen now. My friend, he'd been there a while, hadn't he? Amen. He'd been out there a while just talking to God. And he was telling God, Lord, I got, I got some folk over there. I, I just, Lord, I just need you to do something. Now listen. We look back over there in chapter uh, 18 in verse number 22. The 
Bible said, and a lot of the rest of them turned and turned their face and went to the city. But I come to tell you, they were still one. They were standing before the Lord. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying to you? I'm telling you, there's time. My the lot's done laid down. He's a lot's done give up. He's a lot's done just put it out of the head. But I come to tell you, they still saw. But they don't mind standing before the Lord. If it take me all night, if it take me all day, it don't matter. I'm glad I still got somebody that'll get me to the Lord. But when troubles and trials are going on, are you hearing what I'm saying to you? I know a lot of our heroes of faith, and in the end, not. They either gone on or not where they they can pray like they used to. I know I look around in this room and I see a lot of the heroes of faith that helped you. It's done crossed on over Jordan. And I tell you, some of us has got them. It seems like it's right there at it. And we wondered how in the world we're going to make it. Well, you know what? I ask you this. Have they instilled anything in you to grow up to be like that? That we need some fighters that won't give up, that are standing before for the Lord. Hey, it don't matter what's going on. We need somebody that'll just stand before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm crying out for our people. I'm crying out for my children. I'm crying out for my grandchildren. I'm crying out for my nephews. But Lord, I'm telling you, I'm crying out for my friends. Hey, because I'm telling you, if somebody don't stand up, if somebody don't fight, but my friend, the adversary is a roaring lion, but walking, seeking whom he may devour. He's standing there to devour them and to try to bring them down. And my friend, if somebody don't stand in and intercede from them, they are prey unto Satan. We need some mamas and daddies, grandmamas, granddaddies, aunts and uncles that don't mind getting on your knees. I want to ask you, how long have been since you nailed down and called out for some of your loved ones? Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you this morning? Here, here Lot was, and here Abraham, and Lot was, and Lot was over yonder, and Abraham now done stood standing before the Lord. Bible said it goes on down in the verse, and it says this. In verse number 28, it said, And he looked up towards Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land and of the plains, and, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. In other words, Abraham oversaw it. And he was looking at it. He was sitting there. Don't you know he was wondering, Lord, what about my nephew? Lord, what about my loved ones? What about them, Lord? What's going on with them? But boy, thank God for verse 29. You hear what I'm saying to you? Listen, I want you to look at this very close. The Bible said in verse 29, and it came to pass when God destroyed the city of the plains, listen, that he remembered Abraham. Hey, it wasn't Lot that he was talking about. He remembered Abraham. But why did he remember Abraham? He was the one that stood before him. He was the one that cried out. He was the one that was pleading. Hey, he knew where Lot was. The prayers of Abraham had God to have his hand on Lord and had his and listen I, I come to tell you you may not see the you may not see what's going on in the battle but after the smoke goes up and the smoke settles hey you see where God showed up and where God brought him out hey can you overlook this I want you to get a glimpse of what I'm telling you here Abraham is and I got a good imagination here Abraham's overlooking the city and he sees the smoke go up and he sees everything happening and all he can think about my nephew and she and his, and his, his children are down there and all the smoke going up and he's thinking what in the world how are they going to make it and all of a sudden God said I remembered Abraham well I'm glad God remembered my mama hey, I'm, glad mama rem I'm glad God remembered your mama I'm glad God remembered your daddy hey, when somebody prayed for you I'm God, and I, God remembers. Woo! Here old Abraham was looking down there. Smoke was up. I'm telling you, y'all, y'all know when when something destroyed, there's smoke, there's dust, there's everything. You can't see nothing. You hear what I'm saying? You can't see nothing. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, come here, Kenneth. 
All of a sudden, come here, brother. All of a sudden, I'm just going to use these two brethren. All of a sudden, y'all, y'all just grab hands for a minute. Kind of walk across here. All of a sudden, Abraham's over here and he's looking. I know what for a minute. In just a minute, here Abraham was standing up here. He was looking, and the smoke was messed up. Everything was going on, and start walking this way. And about the time the smoke was settled, he got to looking, and he got to seeing somebody. Hey, I see somebody look like Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe an angel got him by the hand and leading him out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And he's coming out. You know where he's headed. He said, I have remembered Abraham. I remember the prayer. I remember the prayer of faith. I remember. And he brought him out and delivered him unto Abraham. Are y'all hearing me? Listen to me. You ought to be thankful of the prayers of the heroes of your faith, of God. God had the faith while you was in the battle, while you was in the old sinful city, while you was messed up, while you was laid out, while you was laid drunk, while you was laid doped up, while you was laid messed up. Hey, some more mama, some more great hand mama, some more great hand daddy. Hey, we're standing before the Lord and calling up on the name. Hey, God, Oh, hallelujah. Y'all hear what I'm telling you? God remembered. God remembered. Look at your neighbor and say, God remembered. Somebody wave. Say, God remembered. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. I didn't get what I deserved. I deserve to be in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah when it blowed up. I deserve to be in hell today. Somebody stood before the Lord. Are you hearing me? We need some prayers. We need some prayers of the heroes of faith. Some prayers, and I ain't just talking about what's in the book. But somebody back down the years took a hope to this old book. And they believe what it said. And they got a hope to what it said. And they done what it said. They obeyed what it said. And they stood in the gap for the young man. They stood in the gap for the nephew. They stood in the gap for the grandkids. And they're still doing it today. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you this morning? Listen, go back and remember. The Bible said while he was in that city, Oh, you say, well, did God said, remember Lot? He did. But he remembered Abraham first. Because Abraham was the one that stood before the Lord. I want to ask you a question this morning. Verse number 22 of chapter 19. You'll find yourself in one of these two places. In chapter 22 of chapter 18, the Bible said again, I read it well ago. And the men turned their faces from thence and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood before the Lord. Ask you. Where are you at? What are you doing? What are you doing? I know and I know and I know. But I've got loved ones. You've got loved ones. God called right now. But hell, what? We've turned our face. Bottom. If we got any standing in, then God, please. God, if I can find fear. God, if I can find fear. Would you not destroy them? Just, just 50, Lord. I promise you. Find 50, I won't destroy. Find them, Lord. Lord, it what? Stephen Abraham stood with the Lord in these verses. He said, I stand here in ashes. What he said, he was letting him know who he was. He sat there and he said, Lord, I can't find them. But Lord, if I find five, he said, Abraham, my servant, find five, I'll leave them. 
come back and you couldn't find them. <laughs> the best thing Abraham could do was keep praying. You know what? When God destroyed, when the fire fell, I said when the fire fell, I believe the hand of God was over Lot and his family. <laughs> he was leading them through the storm. Matter of fact, he told them, he said, come and get to the mountains. <laughs> That's what the Bible said, come and get to the mountains. Church, we need today some praying mamas, some praying daddies, some praying grandmamas and granddaddies, uncles and aunts, and, and all the things and being consistent of it. Over in Matthew chapter 15, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach, talk to you a minute about this. There was a woman over there. She was a Canaanite woman. Now listen, to a Canaanite woman back in the day, they wouldn't look up on real good when it come to a Jew. Amen? Uh, they just wouldn't. And the Bible says in chapter uh, in Matthew chapter number 15, amen, in 15 verses number 21, the Bible says this. It said, then Jesus went uh, thence. And departed unto the uh, coast of Tyre and, Sa and, and Saturn. He goes on to say in verse twenty-two, it says, "And and behold, a woman, uh, a woman of of Cana, came out of the same coast and and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievous, va uh, 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 vexed with uh, uh, devils." And but he answered her not a word. And and and, and his uh, disciples came uh, uh, came and besought and. And besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. And verse number 25 said, But Jesus answered and said, I am not sent, uh, I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Amen. In verse number 25, it says this It says, Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. Amen. I'm telling you, a mama uh, that didn't give up. Amen. I, they come back and said, Lord, I just need help. Amen. I got a devil, I got a, I got a child over there that's possessed with devil. Uh, she still intercede, uh, stood in for him, for the child. Amen. And the Bible says it goes on to say, uh, it said, Lord, help me. And verse number 26 said, it said, but he answered and said, is it not me to take the uh, children's bread and cast before the, uh, cast into the, uh, cast it to dogs? Uh, and she said, true, Lord. It said, yet the dogs eat the crumb which fall from their master's table. Amen. And the Lord and Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. He said, Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. Somebody to just stay for a little while. Amen. Just to stand there and just keep on praying and just keep on talking to God. Hold on, for help is on the way. Oh, so in the old Psalm says, He said, uh, He said, uh, We may mourn the morning. Uh, for the night, but hold on for joy cometh in the morning. Amen. I, hey, are you hearing what I'm saying to you today? I, just keep on praying. I, I know we look around and we see our children, our grandchildren, our, our aunts and uncles, cousins, our friends, I, and it looks like the more we pray, uh, sometimes the worse it gets. I, hey, but just keep on praying. I, I don't give up. Do I got anybody I, that are just standing before the Lord I, and say, I ain't giving up. I, I'm going to just keep praying I, because I know if I tarry I, and I Tarry before the Lord. Uh, somewhere along the way, uh, uh, somehow, some way, uh, uh, the God that I know, uh, hey, if I do what's right, uh, if I try to live what He has called me to live by uh, and try to abide by His word, uh, I know somewhere down the road, uh, when they get over in Sodom and they get in Gomorrah uh, and they get messed up uh, and He comes down and He destroys uh, uh, the situation in the land uh, that they're living in, uh, hey, that God will remember Jody, uh, hey, because the prayers that we prayed and he'll reach down his old hand and he'll pull them out and save them today. Hallelujah. See, I believe this. I believe what I'm preaching to you today. If we'll trust him, obey him, he'll help us. Amen. He'll help us. I told you, everybody won't fight for it, won't fight. Everybody won't intercede for you. Everybody won't stay till a breakthrough comes. Amen. Take your bum, quit, and go home. Are you understanding? I need to be on it. I want me some of them people. Listen to me. I'll tell you what I want. I want me some of them guys that when the, when the lame man come and he said, we're going to take you to Jesus today, we're going to take you to him. I want me some of them kind of men. I don't want them kind of men that don't say, well, I'm going to take you to him and, and, and get you ready. 
They get you up there, and they take you to him. They get to the house where he's at, and it's packed out. They look at you, and they say, Brother, I tried. Got you to the house. That's all I can do. I want them four brothers that stayed with him. Got him up out to the house, looked at the situation, said, well, brother, we can't get him through that door. Ha, there ain't nobody on that house. Ha, we can get him up there. Amen? Do I got anybody that says we can? Do I got anybody that says we will? Amen? Hey, we can get him up there. And they got him and they, they, they got him there and they climbed up on the roof. Now, how they done it, I don't exactly know, but I can imagine you got a couple that gets up on the roof. I can imagine they'll let a rope down or whatever they're doing, tied up on it, and the two kind of helps him off the ground and the two pulls him up and the other two climbs up and gets on top of the house too. Amen? That's just what I picture. And the Bible said they wouldn't worry about what somebody was going to say about the messed up house. Oh, they know Jesus was in the house. Listen me. Don't worry about what you're going to mess up trying to get to Jesus. Just get to Jesus. And I guarantee you, whatever you mess up, he'll clean up. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? And the Bible said they got up there and they began to pull the roof back on top of the house. Can't you imagine some of them are looking up and say, what in the world? They turn up the top of the house and Jesus still a preaching. Jesus still a talking. Jesus still a healing. Jesus still a saving them. And the roof coming off the house. Hey, it didn't make no difference. Hey, get that side of the rope, brother. Get that side of the rope, brother. And Jesus was letting it go. And all of a sudden, they got a hole big enough. And they begin to let him down. And they let him down right in front of him. I need somebody that'll stay a while and I get me there. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you this morning? Listen, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. For you to sit around and do nothing. Turn your face, turn your back, walk back out on the Lord instead of tearing before the Lord. Boy, I tell you this, Brother Charles, y'all come. Y'all just look like y'all so wore out. I'm going to let you go. You better rest up by four o'clock. <laughs> Amen. But listen to me. I just come to tell you. I stopped by here today to tell you, get prayed up. You got to get prayed up.